unique plant found in Oklahoma, only in the southwestern part of the state, has the same name as one of our pharmaceutical products. This is ephedra. We have our very own native ephedra shrub growing in the southwestern part of our state. You can see that the plants don't really have leaves. They, they, they do have very tiny leaves, but you don't really notice them. Mainly what you see are the stems. It's mostly just stems and twigs, but the green stems of our native ephedra do carry on photosynthetic activities. The plants are male and female. The males have small yellow flowers and the female has showy red-orange fruit and sometimes it kind of would catch your eye if you were to drive by here and see a plant in full fruit. But these have already dropped their flowers and their fruit this time of the year. Another name for our native ephedra is joint fir because the plant does sort of look like a fir or some sort of conifer. One other native or name that the plant goes by is Mormon tea because as you can imagine the uh, properties or the compounds within the plant have been used in the past to uh, brew different types of teas and other concoctions to treat all sorts of things. But uh, ephedra, a plant that the compounds have been in the news a lot lately, we hear a lot about ephedra and just the things and sometimes the problems that it can cause. So uh, really interesting that we have one of these down here in our state. Now. The ephedra is a plant that is highly grazed upon by deer and cattle and any other livestock. And you can see that this one has really been grazed on quite a bit. It's really stubby. And the uh, plant is sort of protected here by this barbed wire fence in the back. And this small little hackberry that's come up also gives it protection. But if you look right here, we have a native cactus that's coming up through the plant also. So if the deer bump into that, they're probably not going to want to feed for a very long time. We have some other cactus down here in this part of the state that are quite showy. We have the little lace cactus. The lace cactus gets its name because of the lace-like pattern of all of its spines. Well, some interesting plants we have down here in the southwest corner of the state. Some of our native cacti and the ephedra shrub.